Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. I'm working... <laughs> I'm working as hard as I can. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm 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 do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money, you'll make this stop. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. How's that dead looking now? If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? Pay the money. Your debt's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. Uh, please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <coughs> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Chipper, but where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Did you see that woman Mary Gillis about? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know, you all. Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station. That Come on, girl.
an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, Seamus, he's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Oof! God damn it! Arthur, watch out! Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. 
I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Get on, dear boy. done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming?
Sure. Give me some leather working tools. I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pearson. Sure, sounds good. No matter where or how money changes hands, the same basic principles apply. I'd rather play for cigarettes than money, really. Planned. Gentlemen, how are you 
keeping. Well, girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing, not happy. I always all. feel like the odds are especially stacked against me when I play with you, Strauss. It is a game of pure chance, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I bet you can name the last 20 cards. Well, of course, you have to pay some attention. Didn't happen. Talk back to a madam? <laughs> I've been horsewhipped. And I was. Good. Oh, I was horsewhipped. And I'm grateful. Oh, I wish Dutch had let me yeah, whip some of them Very pathetic, pathetic wretches into yeah. shape. Um, they need it. Oh, so help me God. A small stop. They need it. I mean, it's bad now, but it's only going to get worse. It's ridiculous. It's uh, not ridiculous. How about that? I mean, there's Fine. simply no respect for their better. No. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. At least it's something. That's what I got. Well, look at you. Very good. No, thank you. I'm just here for fun, all right? Oh, come now. Hmm. All right. All in. My guess is you're bluffing. Um... The moment of truth. I won! God. Somehow. That's as it should be. Come here. Cast your eyes on this! Now, that is a real hand. Uh-huh. All mine! I know I still owe you for saving my life, Morgan, but I ain't about to do it in poker winnings. Okay. <sighs> no. No. I'll check. I'm gonna go all in. Have a look. What'd you think, boys? <sighs> Might want to deal out this hand, friend. Hmm. Ah, crap. Damn! I'll take it. It could have been avoided. Shit! Total shit! Is something wrong? Hello, Arthur. Oh, you know what? what is this?
either. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes! South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Hey! Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Pulled into shore. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It's 
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling the men. Gentlemen. Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the door. left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. God oh, damn it, Arthur! I'm oh. having a fit. Oh. Come on, let's get up there. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! Look out, Arthur! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I hope you have it from here. Come on! Ah! Put that down on the Quick! 
Come on, let's get up there. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down! Ah! Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. We're out of time. Sean. Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. Hurry up, fellas. Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now.
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 